legalizing marijuana. Two counties in western New York are taking a serious look at opting out when it comes to growing and selling. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller tells us why. I just really want to see what's best for the county. As New York State moves closer to the legalization of recreational marijuana, officials in Niagara County say they need to take a closer look at what pros and cons pot would have in their community. Everybody that I chose on this panel is an expert in, in their field. And they, they have different points of views. For instance, the, the sheriff uh, really can see the legal ramifications. That's why Niagara County legislator Jesse Gooch is putting together a panel to examine the local impact recreational marijuana would have on Niagara, though he says he doesn't have an opinion one way or another. I'd like to set up a couple of open forums. We'd like to do one at NCCC. I know I'd like to get one in the city of Niagara Falls, possibly the city of North Tonawanda where we invite the public, where the residents come in, uh, business owners, etc., and really just uh, talk it out. The talks would include whether it would be beneficial for the county to opt out. If it did, you wouldn't be able to buy, sell, or grow marijuana in the county, but you still would be able to use it. Chautauqua County is considering the same approach. It's irresponsible to legalize recreational marijuana. County Executive George Borello says the law and the bill is so roughly determined that it's not clear how the recreational marijuana would be controlled, and that's a major concern. That, um, they need to control it in the same manner as alcohol, but not just in the sale, uh, but also where, when, and how you can consume it. Uh, imagine somebody walking in uh, with a bag full of uh, marijuana-laced gummy bears and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, getting uh, intoxicated and never having been served any alcohol, and yet that... Uh, that establishes responsible for that person's uh, intoxication. Now, officials in both counties tell me tonight that opting out of growing and selling marijuana could have an impact on taxes. Those counties could miss out on any additional tax revenue in the future. So I'm told that is something to seriously consider here. We are live in the newsroom tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.